hello and welcome to the engineering hitman today we're gonna learn how to do monte carlo analysis using excel monte carlo simulation is used to model the output of a calculation which depends on multiple random or uncertain input variables it is a very useful technique because it can show the statistical distribution of the calculated outcome when the input variables change simultaneously to demonstrate this technique, let's study the following problem. A factory is considering producing a new product. The factory management is trying to estimate the most probable revenue from selling this product. In its simplest form, the revenue is the product of two factors, the quantity sold and the selling price of one product unit. We'll start with two simple tables, one for predicted sales volumes and another for the studied price range. The values for both tables can be obtained by performing a market survey for example. Based on the survey results, the possible sales volumes and unit price range could be expressed as a probability distribution. For example, a sales volume of 100 units or more is 40% probable, while a sales volume of 500 units or more is 20%. Similarly, Let's say the market study concluded that 30% of the customers are willing to pay $7.5 for one product, but only 10% would pay $12 for it. What we're gonna do next is that we're gonna add three columns, one for calculated volume, a second for unit price, and a third for the expected revenue. The expected revenue is calculated by simply multiplying the sales and price columns. Now, we need to make Excel pick a random sales and price values from the tables we have. In order to do this, we'll use the index and match method, combined with the random formula. For this to work, we first need to add a column to each table for cumulative probability. The cumulative probability column has zero as the first value, then for subsequent cells just adds the previous probability value to the one above it. Like this. Next, we just format the new column similar to the tables. We can write the formula for sales now. Make sure to use the dollar signs to fix the range by pressing F4, because we're gonna copy that formula later. Also, make sure to set the match type parameter of the match formula to less than. We write the formula for price similarly. Now we can see that the revenue is calculated from the randomly picked sales and price values. Press F9 to check that the values change randomly after each press. This is the main and most important building block of our Monte Carlo simulation. We will copy this one row of calculations few hundred times, or even few thousand times, to simulate a large sample of possible calculated values. What we're gonna do now is count the frequency of the different resulting values of revenue. We will count these values into a set of value ranges, called buckets. These value buckets cover the whole range of possible revenue values. This allows us to observe which values occurred more frequently in our simulation. We use the formula count ifs to do this.
After we do this, we plot the resulting bucket frequencies using Excel's built-in bar chart. The chart clearly shows us the most frequent revenue bucket. This is the revenue the factory should expect. As we said earlier, Monte Carlo analysis is a useful technique which is widely used in various fields such as engineering, project management, finance, decision making and risk management, and therefore, mastering this technique is an important skill. If you have any questions on this video, write us a comment. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to like it, and please, subscribe to our channel for more. Thanks for watching.